and welcome to a very special Museum Mornings where I am joined by my colleagues in the learning team to bring you the story behind the Festival of Hanukkah. My name is Eliana and I am joined by Emma, Lisa and Shireen. The Festival of Hanukkah is celebrated around November and December every year. It lasts for eight nights and on each night we light a special Hanukkah lamp like this one here. And this has nine candle holders. And each night we light another candle. We use the helper candle, the shamash, to light all the other candles. And then it sits in the ninth candle holder. Now, join us to find out why we celebrate the festival of Hanukkah. Now, let me transport you to over 2000 years ago in Jerusalem, where the Jewish people were under the rule of the Greek Seleucid King Antiochus. Antiochus is currently with his advisors, pondering a problem. Advisors? Yeah, your highness. Here, mm. here. I am pondering a problem, you see. The Jewish people when they pray in their temple, they don't worship our many gods. They claim to have just one god. Can you believe that? Oh, dear, dear. This is a huge issue. I want you and you to tell them that they are no longer allowed to pray to their one god. And they must now join us in worshiping many gods. Did you know that we have a god for everything? Oh, of course, your highness. Right away, your highness. Now, in a nearby town called Matatias came head to head with a soldier from the King Antiochus's army who tried to stop him from worshiping his god. A soldier who looked very different in every way from King Antiochus. Excuse me, you are forbidden to worship your god by order of the king. I refuse to obey. I only believe in one god. We aren't doing any harm. Leave us alone. The Jewish people did not obey King Antiochus's orders to worship his many gods. They carried on worshipping their one god. Now, of course, King Antiochus was not very happy. I am not happy. I am going to punish the Jewish people by destroying their sacred temple and their holy scrolls of law. Matatias heard that the King Antiochus was not very happy. King Antiochus is not very happy. He has sent his army to punish us. We must flee to the hills. Um, five sons, where are you? Here. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Um, you too. And, um, and the three just hidden out of shot, form a small army led by, by you, Judah, my oldest son, and we must fight. We must fight for the right to remain Jewish and worship our one God. And we shall be called the Macaronis. You know, guys, that doesn't sound right. The Macaroons. No, no, that's not it. The, um, the, the mackerels? No, no. Wait, I've got it. We shall be called the Maccabees! Small band of soldiers, I address you as your leader, the leader of the Maccabees. Though we are small in number compared to the king's army, we must remain strong and we must never give up the fight, the right to remain Jewish. 
our tactic is simple. We must hide in the hills and attack the king's soldiers whenever we get the chance. Hopefully it won't take too long with God's help. Let's go. It took three long years, but the Maccabees defeated the king's army. Now, if you think about how big the king's army must have been compared to the Maccabees, it's a, man a miracle that they managed to defeat them. Victory! Let's go and reclaim our holy temple! Hooray! The Maccabees re-entered the temple and got to work scrubbing and cleaning until every last trace of King Antiochus was gone. Well done everyone for all your hard work. We are now ready to relight our sacred menorah, which should always be lit in our temple. But we'll need oil to light it. Can anyone find any oil? I found some. I found some oil. By the looks of it though, there's only enough to last for one day. What should we do, Judah? Well, we don't have a choice. We're just going to have to try and light it and hope for the best. Let's just get on with making more oil. The oil was only enough to last for one day. But by some miracle, the oil actually lasted a full one day, two days, three days, four days, five days, six days, seven days, eight days. That's right. Eight days. The oil actually lasted a full eight days so that the Jewish people had time to make more oil. Now, it is because of this miracle of the oil that the Jewish people light candles for eight days and eat foods that are cooked in oil like donuts and latkes, which are potato pancakes. Now, we hope that you enjoyed learning all about the story of Hanukkah. Now, from all of us in the learning team at the Jewish Museum, we'd like to wish you all a... Happy, Happy Hanukkah! Hanukkah!